Yes. No, 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 you no, take I it. Think... Oh. Oh, okay. yeah. All right, guys, first stop on this trip is Bobby's in Vermilion Bay. We are headed to Temple Bay Lodge on Eagle Lake, but if you're driving anywhere in the area, you gotta stop at Bobby's. I've never seen so much tackle smushed into such a little store. It is impressive. Anyways, we're gonna go get a map. Why eagle, Jay? Why eagle? Well, eagle is home to some legendary fish. One of my top filming memories all time is a 54 inch muskie. First time ever to eagle. We aren't muskie fishing this time. We're chasing lake trout, chasing walleye, chasing whatever else is gonna bite, but I'm very excited. We got about a, I don't know, 20 minute drive to Temple Bay Lodge and uh, we're meeting some pretty, uh, some pretty good anglers are joining us for this trip, so I'm excited. This is called the Eagle's Nest? Yes. This might yeah. be one of the nicest places I've ever uh, been in the winter or any time. Holy smokes. Yeah, we're not roughing it. We're not roughing it this week. Man, this is stunning. I try to focus along that on either side. If it's open, we'll try to go do this this afternoon maybe. The, the deep drops, that's yeah. where you're gonna get the bigger walleyes. Yeah. This is a gem in Ontario sunset country. There's been so many videos filmed at Temple Bay over the years, but this is the Eagle's Nest we're in. This is open year round. It can sleep 15 people. Obviously they've got summertime cabins if you wanna come here and do the boat thing, but they do all inclusive ice fishing, huge kitchen. Um, they'll pick you up from the airport, pretty much whatever you wanna do. It sounds like they can make it happen here, but they've got two big side-by-sides. They can bring you out for transportation or you can thaw your boat out if you're doing fall muskies or your sled, whatever. But anyways, we are living here for the next couple days. We got Mr. John Hoyer, Tony Aloya, a couple buddies of mine from the States and we're going walleye fishing with a chance of a lake trout, or a pike, or a perch. Anyways, we're going fishing. Uh, we got John Hoyer today. John, you want to introduce yourself? To yeah, people? okay. Uh, well, I'm actually one of Jay's long lost friends. I guess we know each other through some mutual friends. I live in the USA, currently in Iowa, and I fish the National Walleye Tour. He won Angler of the Year, best walleye angler in the world. So if he can't catch him, then we know there's just no hope. It's gonna be good. I'm just gonna sit back and watch John do his thing. Well, now you've met Mr. John Hoyer, our second special guest on this trip, Tony, Tony Loya. Tony, where are you from? I am from Wisconsin. Happy to make the trip up here. I work for Eskimo and Ion and do a lot of fun stuff with Jay. And now we're gonna catch some fish. My American friends, they struggled to find ice this year. So I was like, you know what? Come on up. I'm going on a road trip. It was a tough year for ice across the ice belt. I, I feel bad. I, sometimes I take it for granted, but I mean, we, uh, we have ice pretty much from, you know, November to April. And Sunset Country is just such a bucket list ice fishing destination for so many people. And unfortunately there isn't more winter options. So I'm happy to showcase a winter option here at Temple. And just, they have the ability to host a lot of people. You're allowed to use two lines through the ice in Ontario. 
I got a Cisco I'm laying on the bottom. It's a quick strike rig, two treble hooks, 30 pound fluoro. And uh, we're gonna probably sink it almost near the bottom, maybe keep it a couple feet off. But we're gonna set some tip ups kind of on the edge of the walleye area, just a little bit deeper. But it's tough to beat just a bucket full of tip ups, especially with a bigger group like this. I can fit eight tip ups in one bucket and they're easy to set. You don't have to worry about messing with rods, so. <laughs> America, God bless America. Eagle Lake and there's a freaking eagle. That, there's nothing more fitting for Eagle Lake right there. Canadian guy gonna teach me how to fish. <laughs> it's, pretty, I mean, it's pretty small. First five seconds after he is really nice and sets all the tip ups, this is a karma fish. <laughs> Whoa! There we go on the board. Thank you, John. No, for letting me you, thank Jay. You. Oh, Tony's on. Hey. I got the tiny scissor kick. These baits are, you know, similar size. Mine obviously is a little more smell and a little more flash, but uh, that thing uh, sure has a pretty good profile in the water. Oh, we got a flag, we got a flag. Single treble fluoro. It's uh, like That's a leaf, bro. 30, 30 pound fluoro, I think, on there. First flag, you always gotta set your dead baits out. This one was in 22 feet of water. We're fishing just this deep trough, catching walleyes on the edge, and we do have a tip about in 50 feet. This was the shallowest one in 22. You get to do much while I'm fishing, John. Oh, no. You yeah. like pike? No, 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 you no, take I it. Think it's a big you take it. <laughs> no, you, you. <laughs> John has this thing where he I says, it, if I it's a pike, tip on the tail. He says, if it's a pike, it's a minus one. Yeah, it was a, I think it's a walleye. <laughs> yeah, definitely a big walleye. I just, I mean, I haven't used a tip up in so long. We I don't want to mess it up. Tony, the Tony, hole. do you want to land this one? No, I'm, I'm I mean, good. We got this YouTube show we're shooting. I don't want to mess it up. The pressure was over. It's a pretty big pike. It's a nice pike. Come on, you wouldn't be excited about that at all, John. But she's here. Look at that head. Look at that head coming up. It's going to get bigger. Okay. That's a nice pike. Ah, uh, that's a John nice didn't pike. want this fish. No, right. I don't want this pike. That is I sweet. definitely didn't want that fish. <laughs> that's about 39 inches long. That's a good one. Wow. John says this is plus one. Eagle Lake, baby. Bye bye. I'm so glad you got <laughs> that. So something about Eagle, which is unique to Northwest Ontario, is there's a night fishing ban, open water and ice fishing. So half an hour after sunset or half an hour 
before sunrise you can't be fishing so we've probably got a couple more minutes i think tony's caught enough for one day personally for one half day just sat in the same hole he's marking john's on with a big one he said it's, it's really big out. i mean it's my biggest by far that thing just shot up Nice walleye. Wow, that's a really nice walleye. This is significantly bigger. That tip of walleye was the biggest, and this is significantly bigger than that. Oh, hello, Eagle Lake. Wow, oh, John. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. Yep. Buddy. <laughs> Came through. A lot of smack talk. That is a giant walleye. That was good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know a big pike would have been good for you, but you are Mr. Walleye, so I guess it makes sense that you'd catch the big walleye. I'm not gonna lie, I went here for my first time in a boat this year, and the number of big walleyes in this lake is unbelievable, so it was kind of amazing that we hadn't caught one yet, but what, 10 minutes left of legal fishing, and that thing just shot off the bottom, Dude, so. That's a good day one right there. Hey, walleyes don't bite in the morning, all we gotta do is come out for the last 30 minutes, what are we gonna do all day tomorrow? That no, sounds lake like trout, a... we got a big pike, we got a big walleye, tomorrow's lake trout. All right, lake trout all day. Welcome back to the Eagle's Nest. We got a fire going. We got Chef John in the kitchen. Tony and I are gonna start cutting some walleyes and I can't get over this place. I, they say 15 people, you could probably fit 30 people in here if you're okay with sharing beds. It is, it's insane. Day two. Yesterday was even a half day and exceeded all expectations. Today, Lake Trout is the goal. We're going back country, doing some portaging and looking for a big old sunset country jumbo Lake Trout. Every good adventure involves getting stuck and having to maneuver around some tight situations, but we did it. We made it to the lake. Not as much snow as I would like on the trails, but we did it. Home the toboggan was a little more work, but man, this sled has so much power and I got the studded tracks on my expedition. So you can just crawl on that low gear. So it was good, but uh, all good lakes take a bit of work. So anyways, next stop, Lake Trout Town.
Tony's on, Tony's on. He's got one already? We didn't, I didn't even get set up and Tony's on already. He's just gonna sit in this one hole all day. Is it a lake trout? Oh, welcome to Sunset Country. To start. John would be happy with that one. <laughs> all right, we are dropping down. There's, there's trout sitting under us. We were on this ledge. Kind of drops down from, you know, 80, 100 down to 120. There's at least three or four trout down there. So this is the LVS 64. This is the big, big transducers made for saltwater fishing and, you know, lake trout. If you do a lot of fishing deeper than, you know, 60 feet of water, it is pretty phenomenal. Wow, just streaking up the little guy, but. So lake trout are one of those fish that have the ability to burp. So you can bring them up from deep and they release real nice. This guy has a story to tell. It's all scarred up on the side. There you go. Backwoods lake trout. This is what I'm using. The tail got nipped already. This is the dragon slayer with the head spin jig. So it's got that little propeller on the front. And when you jig it up and down, that prop spins and the Lakers like it. Same with Lakers. So they can be kind of anywhere in the water column, sometimes near the bottom, sometimes right under the ice. So you kind of jig an area for a bit, reel up. I mean, 120 feet, that's a lot of water vertically, so. Tony's on. Thank you. Well, about three times the size. Hey. Good job, buddy. Thank you. All right, well, we're gonna keep moving. They can't hide with the live scope. They can slither along the bottom, but you know, we saw some fish, caught a couple, got the skunk off our backs. John and the other guys are around the corner, so we're gonna go catch up. She gone. All right, we'll keep going. Tip up time. Put them all out. Tip ups are on fire. No doubt this lake has giant fish. All this deep water. Oh yeah, they're big. They're they're here somewhere, right? Like they yeah. just. I wouldn't mind taking the other. Uh... Oh, there's a nice mark higher up. This is interesting. Oh, I think he just engaged. Yep. Can't believe you don't have a tip up down. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Ooh, this has a little more weight. This has a little more weight. That one bit hard. It's a proper fish. Yes. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah. We got a runner. Wow, I just saw that fish out of the corner. This is a proper Sunset Country Laker. Oh man, my heart's pumping. 10 foot leader, we got bubbles. That's decent. That's a nice uh, seven, eight pounder. Ooh, that's a fat fish. Oh, that's a big trout. She's going. Oh man. Oh, come on, John. Bring it home. Bring it home. Yes. <laughs> oh, baby. That's a giant. Woo! Nice. Buddy, wow, that all day for cool one of those. <laughs> Luckily, I, oh, Barely. <laughs> oh, sweet. Thank Ooh. you for the assist. All right, we're gonna let this thing go, but we're gonna show you one more time. Thank you, Ontario. Wow, look at this thing. He's been eating big. some Cisco's. Yes, that was a big fishing hole. It was, oh man, it was just, it was at the bottom of the hole for so long, just wrapped, because we're not fishing with a ton of ice, probably 10, 12 inches of ice. It's tough to get the head started, but John did it. Might've wow. got a wet sleeve for me. And Tony, that was clutch, because 
obviously those things contort backwards and I'm like that was a team pretty effort. committed but thank you for uh, uh, the grab please. buddy I'm gonna go have a nap eat some jerky you should <laughs> you deserve it there's definitely a trend in ice fishing with longer rods and you saw with that fish is just the long rod it just absorbs the head shakes so he can swing his head back and forth you keep the line tight so that's why I like fishing with a longer rod it can be tougher in a shack sometimes but this is a 43 43 heavy and uh, it's my go-to lake trail rod the mr. big this might sound crazy, but we're gonna keep moving. We just caught our biggest fish, but it's a lot of lake to see yet. This snow is epic though. Cue the epic slow-mo snowflake montage. He's in the deucer. All right, that is a wrap on the lake trout portion. We got big lake trout, we got big walleye, we got big pike. This has been spectacular in a day and a half at Temple Bay. But we have one more day yet. What are we fishing for? I don't even know. I'll let John and Tony decide, but it's been good. Sun is rising at Sunset Country. The trailer's loaded. Since we hit the big three species, we're like, well, what should we do? There's crappie lakes not too far away. So we're gonna go do a little exploratory mission. This trip's already been a massive success. But you know what, let's swing for the fence one more time. We we're rolling out from Temple Bay Lodge, our last and final day. Well, I just heard a murmur there's crappies in this lake, so I thought we'd go check it out. No intel. A lot of these northern lakes, the crappies like to hang on the basin, so we're gonna go see if, yeah, get some deep water off these points. I think we found them first hole. <laughs> Woo! Is that enough? Fish? They're all gone. Should have been here yesterday. Oh, somebody's dropping a big time bomb down there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Just set the hook, John. You got him. No, I don't. Oh, well, I do. <laughs> well, I didn't even get to work my lure. I've never Canadian crappie fished. It makes me think these might be perch. Yeah. Wow, they like lures here. <laughs> We're on him. What a dream to find them this shallow. That's nice. <laughs> Start the counter. Woo! Good average size. Not jumbos, but... Look at them coming in. This is what dreams are made of, John. Just... Just let him eat it. I did. This one's bigger than my first new. Ooh, that looks new PB crappie on. Hello. Wow. <laughs> Is it even fun? Is it even fun when it's this easy? I like Canadian crappie fishing. Is it fun when it's this easy? Um, well, ask me that in like 15 minutes. Oh, that one denied me and bit yours. Who drilled these holes this close? Ooh, that's, oh. that's a nicer one. Hey. Wow. Scissor kick to the mouth. Taco in the mouth. Sunset Country slab. So there is crappies in this lake. Yeah, confirmed. Uh, okay.
I think one of my favorite things about crappies are, um, with all the research I've done on them, is how cyclical they are. And basically, like, to get a crappie lake with numbers like this, there's only one way to do that, and that's with, like, little to zero predation, basically. Yeah. It's, it's a nice species because... You know, you can hear about genetics and stuff, but the reality of it is if you do enough reading, they're simply just a product of their environment. So here they don't have to compete for food. Looks like they have unlimited food, which is about right in a size lake like this. What's our count at, Jeff? <laughs> Whoa. That's the biggest one yet. Look at that fistful. We completed the Grand Slam in Sunset Country, Temple Bay Lodge. Huge thanks to Jeff and the crew there for hosting us. And for these two guys for catching fish and putting up with me for a couple days. Anyways, I'll link the lodge below. What an adventure. This is definitely a place I'll be coming back to, but wow, that was a good way to end the trip. John, can you take that off? What? Can you take that off? Take what off? That stupid look on your face? No, I'm going to keep it on the rest of the day. <laughs> he walked right into it.